back at it again. It's Friday, July the 4th, actually, I think, the 4th, Independence Day, I guess. Um, or 5th, perhaps, I have no idea. Anyway, whatever day it is, I never know. Heading back out to camp again. <laughs> I just saw my pizza guy. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna um, head out to Dog Lake. It is windy as hell out there. Super, super windy. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it out there or what's gonna happen. Um, once I get out there, I'm gonna assess the situation. So the wind is really, really high all around here, but uh, there's absolutely no waves. This is perfect. So I'm just setting off here. Again, the lake is still nice and calm. It's a little bit windier out here. Last time I set up, I actually had my hammock hanging on a dead tree. That's not good. So, we're going to rejig it. I'm going to change the uh, trees that I'm working with and uh, going to rebuild the site. And boom, there we go. We got a hammock. So, I set it up hastily just because uh, I thought I heard thunder coming, but <laughs> it actually was a, a plane flying overhead. There's really not a cloud in the sky. It's still bright blue up there. Anyway, so here's the hammock set up. Just got my crap under there, chainsaw and all that stuff. And uh, just in case it is going to thunderstorm tonight, it'll be nice to keep that dry. So here's a little bit of disappointment. Um, I was opening up my tools bag tonight and I looked down into it and a piece of my equipment is broken. My life straw. It just shattered. I've never even got to use this thing. I'm really disappointed. It just broke. Anyway, that's what the filter looks like. Alright, so there's a little bit of wind. I still got my fire going, but I'm just burning out the bowl for uh, the spoon I'm making. You know, I have absolutely no you know, formal training in this, but uh, then you burn out the bowl, scrape it out, burn it out, scrape it out, and eventually you take a very sharp knife or a hook knife if you have one, and just you know, draw out the bowl. Then you shape it out. I have uh, never made a spoon before, so this isn't going to be beautiful, but you know what? It's kind of a fun project when I'm sitting by the fire listening to the radio. Listening to Q from Gian Gameshi. So, here are my thoughts. I'm out camping by myself, and I kayaked here by myself, and I set up camp by myself, and I lit a fire by myself. And I've done this like two, three, four hundred times, maybe, I think, like pretty sure, like, you know. And uh, I am on an island that is exactly 4.0 kilometers from my car with a direction I can go in that allows me to portage across a lot of that or another direction that I can go in that allows me to paddle less than 200 meters and I can be on mainland and actually walk back to my car effortlessly because there's a giant dam and a road but I'm actually in the middle of nowhere, and that's what I like. I can't hear anybody. There's a park over there. You can hear them sometimes, but I can't hear anybody right now. There's nobody around. I can't see anybody. And I, I'm all alone, and it's great. And I have safety devices and backup, and I've got a spot connect and a cell phone and, you know, all that stuff out here. Yet, there's so much empty room in my kayak, I had to shove clothes out of my dry bags just so that things didn't rattle around and that includes a chainsaw a jerry can chainsaw oil you know like the uh, chain oil gigantic radio i brought all this stuff with me and i do it all the time because i've done it before i paddled four kilometers i took a picture of my friggin gps i'm not trying to say i'm on some epic wild crazy adventure because i'm not i'm out here to relax that's what you do if you do big trips and 
you know, impress people and all that stuff, great. If you don't like what I do, of course you're not going to have anything positive to say about what I'm doing. So, don't say it. Don't do it. I still have an axe and a knife. I still have a knife sharpener. I've got steel. I've got fire steel. I've got natural tinder. I've got shaga. I've got uh, all of that stuff. But I also have a chainsaw and a jerry can. You wouldn't even know I was here. You would have absolutely no idea that there was a campsite here, despite the chainsaw use. So if you got any more questions, go ahead and post them. So I'm working on the back side <clears throat> of the handle right now. And uh, you got to be real careful because sometimes if you don't uh, get your knife work properly, this can happen. I've uh, cut into my finger. It's bleeding. And I don't really care. It's not a big cut. Just the knuckle. I'm going to wipe it off my pants here. It's uh, you know, that big. Not a big deal. Anyway, so I'm cutting in here. I'm going to uh, shape the spoon so it runs kind of like that. Uh, the bowl is probably burned out as much as I'm going to burn it out. And I'm going to shape the, the shaft a little bit. I'm just going to shape the shaft and uh, sand it up kind of like this. And uh, see if I can't get a nice smooth spoon. Just like that. That's how I'm going to sand it. Just like this. You see in that? Right there. Anyway, there's no more video. I'm so sorry. The camera is dying. It's dead. Here's the fire. It's Friday. Yes. Good night, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thanks for uh, commenting and subscribing and all that stuff.